All right there YouTube welcome back to the channel as you can see here We're working on the rowdy Rodney engine here right now what I'm doing is I'm getting new pistons pressed on the rods Just got them sitting here like this just keeping track of where everything's going uh, I thought I'd make a quick video maybe upload this midweek or something just a bonus video on pressing the rods on the pistons you can pretty easily mess up the piston if you don't do this right so I thought this might be something that people were looking for but a couple little things to keep in mind here your left bank when you're facing the front of the engine here the chamfer on the end of the rod goes towards the rear of the engine you notice there is a arrow on the pistons that indicates what faces the front of the engine so left bank chamfer faces the rear right bank chamfer faces the front all right so i'll show you how i'm going to press these pistons out i've got just a piece of pipe i've cut a notch out of it so that when this sits on here it grabs that edge right here as well as around here now i'm not too terribly worried about trying to reuse these pistons because i'm using new pistons but we're going to take this, I'm going to set that on here, place this in the press. And then I've got a, another piston pin that I've ground down so that it's just a slip fit in the rod end there. I'm just going to line this up on the press. We're going to go ahead and press this pin out, just like so. Okay, now that the piston's pressed off, just gonna make sure there's no foreign material in the eye of the rod here. This is where it's pressed. It's not actually pressed on the piston. See that's slip fit. It's pressed on the rod, so make sure this is clean. Okay, so we've got the rod just placed in a vise here. Now I try to do this so that I'm always putting the piston on facing the same direction so I've been doing these with the arrow facing down so because this is going in the left bank the chamfer is facing up because we want the chamfer to face the rear of the piston. Okay so now we're just going to start warming this rod up. This propane torch you don't have to put it right on it. We're not going to try to get this red hot, but we're going to try to get the rod up to 450, 500 degrees. This is when it would be nice to have a old toaster or oven or something like that or a hot plate in the shop and just put these rods in there and let them warm up. But we're going to do this a little bit at a time. We're not going to try to warm it all the way up at once. We're going to put a little heat in it start getting some of our other stuff together, come back, heat it a little more. Try to get it so the entire rod, or at least the vast majority of it's hot. You can see the oil starting to smoke off the rod, so we're probably getting up about 350 degrees or so. I'm going to heat this up just a little bit more and then we're going to let it set and rest for a minute. Come back and we're heated a little more. Give that just a couple minutes, let the, the heat soak through the rod and then we're heated up some more. 
new piston pin sitting out here in nature's freezer I'll come out and grab that just before I'm ready to put it in okay so now I've got I brought my wrist pin in I've got this facing down wrist pin on the top side Just going to give this just a little more heat. Now you only get a couple of seconds to get this positioned on there before this rod will transfer enough heat into this pin that it's going to lock up. So you're going to want to have your press set up ready to go quickly. If you got to make a, you don't quite get it, you got to make a slight adjustment. You don't really want to be pressing on these new pistons if you can help it, so you really want to try to get this first shot, but if you got to make a slight adjustment on the press, you can, but you're going to want to do it very quickly. Slide that down just a little bit, slide it on here, and... Try to hold that rod in the center. And we're on there. All right, so there it is. See the wrist pin moves freely on the piston. Putting that in its position for safekeeping. So we're getting this engine pretty close for to being ready for reassembly here, but it's not quite ready yet. It might be a week or two till I get that video up, putting the engine back together. Depends kind of on how much available time I get to work on it. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a great day.